it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video, look. Excuse me. Sorry, I put lotion on my hands and it smells really good. So anyway, so today in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys. So anyway, so hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Oh man, my intro, my intro screwed up. Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week, pa. And today in this video, I'm going to tell you guys a story of how I missed my fifth grade school play. And I think I mentioned this in my top 10 most disappointing moments in my life. And um, if you didn't see that video, I'll leave a link to it in the description box down below. Um, and just this is just to teach you guys, it's okay to be disappointed. Things happen and things come up that you, when, you least, when you least expect it. But this was a moment in my life, even though I wasn't really in the play, I was very disappointed that I missed the play. Okay, so I'm going to get started, and if you guys have, were, were excited about something and got disappointed because you had to miss it because of something, let me know down in the comments below, and I'm going to get started. So this all started when I was in the fifth grade. I was 12 years old. I was um, practicing for weeks in the orchestra with my friends as we were getting ready for my school play, play that my teacher had put on. Sorry. Um, so we're... So, um, the week the play is happening, um, we had practiced for weeks, I was in the orchestra, I was the chime of bells in the orchestra, and, um, we, we worked really, really hard just to do all the music, get all, <sighs> get everything right, right, and once we got everything right, we were like, it was perfect, and we were getting, we had practiced for a month to get ready for this school play, and I was super excited to help out, out with the school play and be in the orchestra with my friends. And so, the week of the play, I started to not feel well, like my, well, and this was the week after I got my, um, Flu mist. Um, I have a full. I'll have another story about that later on. This is the week I got my flu mist. Flu mist, or was it the week after? No, it was the week after I got my flu mist. Mist because I couldn't have needles because I hated needles. And um. Okay. So anyway, sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. So this is the. So the week of the play, I start to not feel well. Like I have a stomach ache. And then all of a sudden, I don't feel good. I start sneezing, sneezing and coughing, and I'm not sure why. <sighs> oh, excuse me. I'm not sure why I start sneezing and coughing. My friend suggests go to the nurse. Nurse, because she said the flu was going around. So I go to the nurse. My nurse checks my temperature, and I have a low fever, so they have to call... Um, my parents and take me home and my parents pick me up and take me home home and then um, the very next day they check I want to go to school so I can get ready for the school play so they check my temperature and my temperature is at a hundred and one which is not good good so I have to stay home which is good because my mom was a stay-at-home mom at the time and she was home with my sister and my brother other. Well, my brother was in school, and um, I was super disappointed. I'd wanted to go to school because I wanted to get ready for the play and to play because the play was happening, I think, on a Friday night. And for the next few days, I just sit down and rest. And then the morning, and then ne then then comes Saturday. My mom tells me how I had missed the performance. So I was like pretty disappointed even though I wasn't really in the play I was just disappointed because I was so excited to be with all my friends in the play play and play and help perform with the play play and my mom's like well you were sick and we didn't you didn't want anyone else to get sick and I felt really really bad that I missed the play but I also felt good not going because um because I was sick and I didn't want to get anyone else sick Sick. So that day, I think my mom and I, my mom and I found some, just did some puzzles just to cheer me up 
because I was pretty disappointed. I didn't wasn't so disappointed that I started to cry. I was just disappointed that I didn't get to go to the play and I worked really hard to help with it. And I didn't get to see my friends perform in the play. Play. So my mom ended up cheering, cheering me up, up and I think we ended up just doing a puzzle that day because I was just pretty disappointed that I didn't get to be in the play. So this just goes to show you guys, it it's okay to get disappointed when you work hard on something and you don't get to go to it. But like if you have a dance recital but you can't go because you're hurt and you worked really hard on it, it's on it. Or if you have a soccer game that you were looking forward to going going to do to kick the ball and you can't go because you broke a bone. It's okay to be disappointed because things happen when you least expect it and there's nothing really you can always do about it about it on it but to get rest and sadly miss whatever you were looking forward to. So it is okay to be disappointed just so you guys know. Oh no, I've been through it many, many times and I totally understand how everyone feels when they get disappointed. It sucks to be disappointed, but it's a part of life. It happens when you least expect it. Okay, so that was the story of how I missed my school play and I was pretty disappointed. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for all and I'll see you in video soon. Bye!